Pow pow! What's up everybody? This is Petey from SupplementReviews.com. Today we're going to be talking about one of the favorite nighttime recovery products of many folks, Mycelocasein. But not just any Mycelocasein, we're talking about the stuff from NutriBio. A few weeks ago I reviewed their whey protein isolate, so let's take a look at what their micellar casein has to offer. Okay, starting with the lid, same deal as the whey protein isolate. Pure supplements, pure results, zero fillers or excipients, no inferior ingredients, no added sugar, no banned substance, no proprietary blends, no hidden ingredients, NutriBio. Awesome stuff. Also promising right here, full labor disclosure. And let's take a look at the front of the container. All right, got the nice little splash of the strawberry. This is a wild strawberry flavor, which we'll get to later. It promises to be made in a new in a GMP uh, and FDA inspected facility. 25 grams of protein per serving with 6.2 grams of BCAAs and 6.2 grams of glutamine for building, repairing, and recovering. All right, it says it's a slow digesting protein. I'd hope so. It is casein. It has no fillers, excipients, or additives, slow digesting anti-catabolic protein, ultimate nighttime protein, and a high concentration of BCAAs with a true label, full disclosure label. Awesomeness. This is a two pound container with 28 servings. So with that being said, we're diving on into the taste and mixability. I dig strawberry proteins, so I'm a little bit biased when it comes to this, but uh, at the same time, Good guy to ask, because I've tried a lot of strawberry protein. I think this stuff tastes really tasty, especially with, imagine that, almond milk. Um, it's quite the treat for the nighttime, all right? It's very comparable to other strawberry caseins. Um, this one's a little bit um, sweeter, I'd say. It's definitely got the wild strawberry taste. Yeah, it doesn't go overboard in terms of sweetness or bitterness or all the above. So I'd say, you know, that's a good job on that part, all right? I like the taste. It mixes perfectly fine. It mixes like a casein. So you're going to need a little bit extra uh, fluid compared to whey protein because it is going to be thicker. But with that being said, the taste and mixability are excellent for a casein product. It mixes a little bit better, in my opinion, than the 100% uh, micellar casein from Optimum. So kudos to you there, NutriBio. Okay, so taste and mixability is really good. It gets a 9.4 out of 10. Hard to beat this stuff. It's casein, it's pure, and it's tasty. All right, it's a nice nighttime treat. I'm sure there's some good recipes you could whip up if you want to make their, uh, I guess, the casein ice cream or whatever uh, dessert recipes you uh, see floating around. But hey, that's something you can do on your own time. I stick with the basic, and I use almond milk with it. Tasty stuff. 9.4. Moving on to the supplement facts with that full disclosure label here. A serving size is one scoop with 32 grams, and there's 28 per serving. Amount per serving, got 110 calories, only 5 from fat, so you got half a gram in there, and none of it saturated, and I hope no transaturated fat, which there is none, so that's good. The cholesterol is 15 milligrams, so that's not very much at all in there, that's 5% of your daily value. Carbohydrates, you got 2 grams, less than 1%, none of it's from fiber, and only 1 gram of it's from sugar, which is just a natural byproduct. Protein, 25 grams, awesomeness, it's nice when the uh, ingredients match the front of the container. Calcium, going to be a little higher, it is casein, so it's a 710 milligrams or 70% of your daily value. Surprisingly for a casein, it's got only 2% of your daily value in it at 16 milligrams. It's also got a, a small amount of potassium in it as well at 2%. And, of course, uh, like the huge bulk of the stuff, which is why I love this stuff so much, is a micellar casein on the label, non-denatured, at 30.9 grams per serving. Um, and then you got flavoring at 1.1 grams. Um, so you got to take in terms of like the protein on here, uh, how much of it, you know, a little bit is going to be denatured in the manufacturing process, no matter if it's cold filtered or how it is, you're going to lose a little bit in the manufacturing process. That's why then that, that uh, 32 gram serving, you know, they're going to lose a few grams here and there, but still 25 grams um, out of the 30 possible, I mean, that's very good. Actually, it's just at 31, so you're just under, um, you know, the, the full... Um, I guess gram equivalent per scoop in there, so that's good stuff. I like, well, the other thing I keep in mind too is they are going to take into account for BCAAs here. That's something I do like to see. Um, so if you got you know 25 grams of actual protein in there of the micellar casein itself, you got to take into account the BCAAs and the glutamine. Okay, so um, well I guess in this case not the glutamine, but here if you got 6.2 grams of BCAAs and you got uh, 25 grams of protein, you're going to get you know that 30 mark. So that's where that's coming from as well. I mean, obviously you lose a tiny bit in manufacturing process, but not so much right here because it is cold process, it's not denatured. All right, so if the facts don't match up um, initially, I mean, keep in mind that BCAAs are listed on here as well in that serving size. So they're not trying to hide behind the 30 grams of protein label on here and here and then pixie dust it with BCAAs to bump up the protein value like you might see in other places. 
that's awesome that they list that. Um, I mean, obviously, you might take a trained eye to spot the 6.2 grams of BCAs um, will be in the product, and it'll say 30 grams serving. So, where's that five grams coming from? Well, there you go. Now you know. Um, so, other ingredients on here? Absolutely none. Um, I guess in their fla in their flavoring blend, it's actually very natural. Natural strawberry flavor, uh, natural banana flavor, a little exanthin gum, citric acid, beet powder for a little tiny, tiny bit of coloring, and a little bit of sucralose. Barely in there at 85 milligrams of salt at 70 milligrams. So it comes in very low in those categories. That's awesome. They focus on the protein and not so much on the flavor. So overall, for the ingredient profile, I like how they fully disclose everything. They got the BCAs listed at 6.2 grams. They got the protein listed at 25 grams. So that's going to you know, come in at uh, 31. And then you got a little bit for the flavoring. Boom, that gives the 32 grams even, including the one uh, gram of flavoring. Solid math, huh? All right, I like that. So overall for that, it's a 9.5 out of 10. It's fantastic. It's fully disclosed, pure, and it's awesome. All right, now, moving on to effectiveness. You're gonna notice um, when you take a casein protein or any recovery supplement compared to when you don't take one. So it's not gonna be revolutionary, groundbreaking. However, the thing to focus on with proteins, obviously, is the digestion of it, how it tastes, so you can actually tolerate eating it. Obviously, that isn't the end all. I'm mean, gonna take a really crappy um, tasting protein or something that's really bitter, such as whey protein hydrosolate, that's going to be a little more bitter compared to a crappy protein that's going to give you digestive issues or not going to help you through recovery as much and have it not taste as good. This stuff tastes awesome and it works well. Okay, so the glutamine in there definitely helps. Some people say it's a placebo. I mean, studies are still out on that. I mean, give or take, winning guard, that's not the point here. Um, I think you'll like it there. So overall, I like the effectiveness of this stuff. It's hard to beat it. It is protein and it saves you from eating a ton of cottage cheese on the sodium side of things, plus it's quicker tastier for that matter. So this stuff gets a 9.5 out of 10 in terms of effectiveness. It's hard to mess up casein and these guys just went above and beyond in terms of purity. That's an awesome standpoint right there. Value right there, it's going to be on pace with all the other caseins out there. Nothing below, nothing above. The, um, but the thing that's going to set this apart is that everything is listed. They tell you exactly what you're getting in each serving down to the grain. That's awesome. Okay, so um, you can't really, uh, well I guess you can, put a price on the value and of uh, your product in terms of quality, and they go above and beyond here as well as their whey protein ice that I reviewed earlier. That's awesome. I ran this stuff as a stack, obviously, protein like the whey protein pills work out, casein before bed is just kind of a you know a little fun thing to throw in. And I really enjoyed it. So for value right there, it's gonna get a nine out of ten. It's you know, it's not a luxury item honestly in terms of casein. Um, there's a lot of different philosophies on whether or not you need to supplement with post bed, but hey, if you want a little more protein in the other day, it makes a nice little snack if you get the cravings at night for something sweet. You know, get a little uh, strawberry shake in there or chocolate, I believe they have as well. I think vanilla too. But anyway, but um, it is kind of a luxury item when it comes to casing. But what they do, they do it well, and I like the value. Overall, the stuff is solid. It gets a 9.4 out of 10. It's a fantastic product in taste, mixability, effectiveness, and its ingredient profile is one of the best I've seen for a casing. It's pure, everything's listed, they don't try to hide behind any blends. It's all out there for you to see, and it's just an overall great product. If you're looking to try a casein, Get this one, one of your top considerations. Obviously, there's a couple other ones that are up there as well, but um, that's in their own little video review, so we'll get to those later. But uh, this would say be at least um, my favorite or at least second favorite overall casein product. All right, so they did a fantastic job there. Once again, thanks to Mark over at Nutribio for sending this our way for expert review team. And also, it's positive to see, you know, the whole main USA and the sizing container. I know, one little last tip. All right, that's all I have for you for the MySoda casein. However, you know, don't go away quite yet. Like I mentioned last week in our video, we're going to be doing the Olympia Week huge this year. It's going to be our first expo, so we're planning this awesome set of prize packages. We're going to be getting out five. I'm not going to tell you what's in them yet, but all I can tell you is that there's going to be a lot of goodies in there. Okay, we got at least, I believe, five different board sponsors signed up to donate uh, products for these prize packages. And hint, hint, none of them have given just one product. A lot of them are throwing three or four products in the bag as well. So you're going to be getting a nice haul of subs, some SR gear, and of course some blender bottles for rocking it. All right, and don't worry, you don't have to go to the Olympia to win. All right, we're running that contest the entire week, but, you know, there might be a little extra bonus entry should you show up at our booth at the Olympia. So make sure to check us out, and also keep your eyes peeled, because we're going to have a special Mr. Olympia giveaway at the end of the month. All right, that's the last week of September for the Mr. Olivia Expo, so be taking an eye on that. All right, so like us on Facebook, follow on Twitter, tumble on Tumblr, plus on you, plus paint on Pinterest, and whatever else you do social media-wise. And other than that, this has been Petey, and you have a good day. 
You ain't known by-